Hi, one video I've not done is a, a video on setting up and calibrating EdTracker Pro. Um, I've done lots of videos on the DIY one, um, those are all still valid, the last one of those is still valid, but um, a few people have pointed out uh, and they're trying to follow those for the Pro and there are slight differences, slight nuances with the EdTracker Pro GUI and stuff like that. So just to remedy that and the avoidance of any doubt, I'm going to do a video specifically for EdTracker Pro users. Um, so if you've got a Pro, uh, just to make it absolutely clear, DIY users, no need to watch this video. If you've got a Pro, you'd have had it delivered in a box like this most likely. Um, you've got your Pro device, a cable if you ordered one, um, and there'll be a sheet in there that points you to the website, to the user guide, to the manual and the software. Do have a read of that, there might be some last minute uh, updates, news, whatever, instructions on there, but that should get you started. Um, you can follow the user guide, uh, that should get you where you need to, but see, some people prefer videos, that's why we're doing this, okay? So it won't tell you anything that the, the user guide won't, but, um, but we'll go over it just for those who prefer videos. Um, okay, in terms of mounting it, um, I'm not going to mount it yet, but just for those who wonder how to do it, um, I use, well, I've two, two approaches really. I've got a Velcro strip, those can work quite well. So you have two part Velcro strips, sticky backed, and you can use that to fix it on the top. Um, that's stable enough, you can do that. The other option, and to be honest, the, still the one that I recommend the most is just an elastic band. Uh, it's nice, flexible, non-permanent, uh, and cheap. But however you want to fix it to the device, I mean, um, you know, elastic bands, tape if you want to but it can kind of gunk up your headset and whatnot. Um, I would recommend either a rubber band or a velcro pad if you prefer or a sticky pad if it's if you don't mind it kind of being fairly permanent on there. Um, the uh, way we advise it is on the top um, but it can go in one of four orientations on the top yeah with a USB connector pointing out to the left right back or front. Front's not really very popular because obviously you end up with a cable coming down over your head so it's there if you need it. Um, there is an option in the software, I'll just talk about this a little bit, to side mount it with the USB facing down uh, on either side. Um, we don't recommend this for people with headset users like this, you know, with magnets in there, because the magnets in your headset speakers will affect the, uh, the, the magnetometer that's in here that helps calibrate it. So um, we really don't advise fitting it on the side, but there is an option there for people who are not using it on headphones, but just have a, a headband, yeah, are using speakers separately. So you can do it. If you choose that option, there's a little warning that just tells you, you know, here be dragons. Um, but in most cases, fitted on the top would be the simple, simple bit of advice. So that's where it's going to sit for us. Right. Now, we're going to go through this from fresh as if you'd had it just delivered, so I'm not going to mount it yet because we're going to have to do a couple of uh, steps with it flat on a desk first. So, let me get uh, the software fired up, we start capturing my desktop and we'll talk through how we go setting it up for first use. Okay, so we're going to start off with the website, so we're going to go to www.edtracker.co.uk uh, and on the menu at the top you'll see support, uh, you'll see a get started page on there. So support, get started, and that gives you quick links to all the things you need. So you're going to need, well, the user guide or follow this video. Um, the user guide's still worth downloading and having a read of later on. But the main thing is you need to download uh, the EdTracker Pro software. So download that, it's a zip file, unpack it on your PC, Program Files, Temporary Folder, wherever you want to unpack it. And in there you'll have an edtrackerpro.exe file. Uh, double click that EdTracker Pro um, file and that will bring up the uh, UI, which looks like this. Now, first time you run it, I'm assuming this is a first time run, yeah? So the first time it will be looking and waiting for a device, we've not connected it yet, um, and it will fire up a wizard. Now if, if it doesn't fire this wizard up, just as a note, if you ever need to rerun this, if you, uh, you know, I don't know, missed the chance first time and want to rerun it. Underneath the help menu at the top there's a rerun um, wizard setup. Okay, so you can do that if you need to. But we're going to start off on our initial plugging in the device, we're going to do it flat on a table. Okay, so we're not going to mount it yet. We're going to keep it flat on a table, take our USB connector and we're going to, oh, I should just point out, screws down uh, from version 1.3 of the firmware onwards uh, all EdTracker Pros are screws down. Very early versions, which had the version 1 firmware, uh, they were screws up, okay? 
Um, but assuming you've updated your device or it's a brand new one you've bought from us, it will have the newer firmware, 1.3 or bigger. Um, the screws on the box should be pointing down. Okay. So, screws down on the desk, take my USB connector, plug it in, and the software, there'll be a quick um, USB blah, blah, thing uh, where it runs a bootloader basically. Uh, and then you'll see it detect the device and it'll do an auto bias um, calculation. So it's, it's trying to understand what flat is and that's why it has to be flat on a desk for that first fire up, okay? So there it's fine. And now it's starting the calibration wizard for us. Um, this will warn us here, it'll say, please place your head tracker flat on the table and click next when you're ready. Um, the reason for that is just in case you, you didn't. So I'm gonna click next and chances are it will skip yeah, so it's, it's skipped any um, uh, calculation because it's already done it. We, we started it flat. But if you plug it in with it in your hands and it's not flat, it'll go through that step again there just to make sure. Okay, so we're following the wizard. Very straightforward now. <laughs> the cut and thrust of it is just do what it says on the screen. But um, first it's going to ask you to set the orientation of the device to how you've got it on your headset and to mount it. So I'm going to take my headset. Here it is. I'm putting mine, I've got a temporary cable here, this one's my permanent one, but um, I'm going to mount it on the top, like so, the USB cable coming out to the right. I'll put my elastic band on, there we go. So it's on, nice and solid, obviously my permanent wire, you can see I've kind of got a cable tied and attached to the, uh, the headset cable as well, but for the purposes of this demonstration that's fine. So that's on the top, USB right, like so. so I'm going to choose that from the drop down. You choose whatever's appropriate for how you're using it and click next. Then it says hold the headset upright and click next when ready. Now it's asking you to rotate the head tracker in all the directions shown until the progress bar reaches 100%. So you can follow the, the, the kind of video, but you basically want to twist it 360 degrees on every possible axis, yeah? including upside down, do it upside down as well. Um, and just spin that around until the green bar is full. Now, once you've done all of them, you know, just whatever it needs to fill the green bar up so you can carry on moving it around and doing it in various directions. But do do this where you're going to play. Don't go and do it in another room and then come back here and, uh, and, and do it some, um, somewhere else, you know. So we're gonna fill that bar up. There we go, it's happy. Now it's pretty much done now. It's saying, put the headset on your head, look forwards, click next. And that's it. And it just warns you there that if you ever need to redo that, you can normally get away with just a quick click of the auto bias. But basically, it's ready to go. Simple as that. Now, if um, you find that you know you take it off your head, you you know turn your computer off for a day, and you come back two days later, you put it on your head, and it's and you're looking ahead, and it's not straight ahead. That's probably a number of reasons but it's very often because it's very hard to obviously get your headset back on your head in exactly the same position and so you might find it off by a few if that happens that's what the auto bias button is for so you know if that happens you come back after a couple of days you pop it on your head and it's not straight just look straight ahead hold your head still click the auto bias button hold your head still while it just re-flattens itself basically refigures out where flat is And there we go, you're back to, back to good. Personally, I don't ever have to do that. I leave mine hanging on a hanger here, um, and I never turn it off. But, but if you do turn it off and you need to re reset where level is, that's what the auto bias button is for there. Uh, and that's it. Um, you know, there's various settings here now that you can fiddle around with. You can change the response mode, uh, the your scaling, so you can amplify the amount of head movement in game versus yours. There's some smoothing for if you find it's very sensitive and you, it's picking up all the jitters of your head, you can put some smoothing on. But I'm not gonna go over those here. They're all documented in the user guide. I want this to just be a quick little video of how to get started, yeah. Um, so there you go. Um, hopefully that, that gets you up and going nice, quick and simple. And that's, like I said, that's just for Ed Tracker Pro. So DIY won't look quite the same in terms of the GUI, but it's a similar kind of process. Um, there we go, hope that's useful. Uh, I think it's closed off that, that emission of a video for, for Ed Tracker Pro. Uh, yeah, so I'll leave you to it. Go and have fun, see you later, bye.